my mom has a really good phrase or saying. She says, um, good people make bad decisions all the time. Jails are filled with really good people who've made bad decisions. It's not that they're bad people. Um, they just made a bad decision and there are consequences for a bad decision. So intentional or not, whether I intended to speed or did not intend to speed, I got the same ticket. Consequences for plagiarism and cheating are the same whether or not you intended to do it. Right? And so this is representing somebody else's work as your own, like something on the internet, for example. Um, borrowing, buying, buying a paper, stealing a paper, that's plagiarizing. Getting so much help from somebody else that it's not actually your own anymore, that's plagiarism. Intentionally using source material inappropriately. Um, like something called patchworking, where you take this line from this article on the internet, and this line from this article on the internet, and then this one from this one, this one, and this one. And just because you copied from 10 articles doesn't make it yours. You're still copying and pasting. And unintentional, unintentional keyword, misuse of borrowed sources through ignorance or carelessness. So all of those are examples of plagiarism. Other, this is a relationship built on trust, right? You're trusting that I have gone through the material, learned the material, I've thought creatively about how to be able to represent it and explain it to you so that you can learn the material, right? You're trusting me to do that. I'm trusting that you are legitimately trying to learn the material, you know, want and like and, and all of that aside, you're trying to learn this material and, and so, you know, we move built on that relationship as we go forward. So just like, you know, um, so what do I want to say? In this sense, this trust is reciprocal, right? It's back and forth. You're trusting me to do my job, and I am trusting you to do your job. And that's really all it comes down to. And so, and so here we're actually looking at the reasons why people plagiarize, which is not like I'm, which has not been in my experience, I'm really bored and I just want to get Brenda. I, I don't think anybody actually thinks that. The, this is much more common. I'm really stressed out. Something happened in my life. I had to work extra hours. Uh, you know, um, the dog got sick. You know, some, something happened. You didn't have time to do it. And so you just copied something or, you know, didn't really think about it much and you just got something and just put it as yours. That's, that's a common reason for plagiarism. Um, too little time before the deadline. I think everybody is familiar with this. You just waited too long and now it's midnight before it's due and it's a big assignment and y you don't know what you're doing, right? So you just copy something. I hear that a lot. Oh, it was 10 minutes before and so I just turned it in and it was somebody else's or it was plagiarized. Time management skills again in learning support services, very helpful. And then your classmates, especially as you move through the semester, you guys are, are in groups. You can email back and forth, text, whatever, you know, communicate with your classmates as well so that you're not isolated in this class and you don't have to resort to plagiarism. And, and remember that there, you have a choice. So remember that I accept late work. So if you're pushed up against that deadline, right, turn it in a day late. Turn it in two days late. You do get deducted in points, but it's not many points, and you still get the vast majority of them. That is much better than getting plagiarism put on your record, right, on your permanent academic record. Taking a few points as a hit, not a big consequence, actually. Having ch cheating and plagiarism on your permanent academic record, that's a consequence. Remember, again, taking a few points off an assignment by turning it in late, is, is, is really the better choice for you in the long run. Um, when, it's, when I have had plagiarism sources like some of these that are presented, it's for like 10 points out of 800 points. It's like robbing a bank with automatic weapons to buy a hot dog, right? I mean, and yet same level of consequences. So keep that in mind, right? Just turn it in late. Not that I encourage late work, but I certainly encourage it as a, as a solution to cheating or plagiarizing.